the timber wolf, aka the mad cat. Not one of the original mechs, but possibly one of the most iconic mechs nevertheless. I guess we don't have to look too far to find a mad cat slash timber wolf. It's like right on the cover. Ghost bear. I how many pages in it is. It's only, it's like one of the very first things. It's like constant pictures and art. It's like one of the, look at that right there. Run. This one had the uh, story of the sensor error when the Timberwolf was first seen by Inner Sphere sources, or inner, the Inner Sphere warriors. The um, it got confused. The sensor reading switched between a Marauder and a Catapult, and that's where the name Mad Cat came from. And then later on, Comstar officially called it the Mad Cat, but that's a Comstar name. And I'm secretly a clan sympathizer, so to me it's the timber wolf. This is a timber wolf. Yeah. So this is the timber wolf. The timber wolf prime. Um the price as as according to Sarna is two four two three three one two four. So what I did is I calculated the ammo, weapons, and jets cost has no jump jets. And then times the chassis and omni multipliers to get these prices. I then subtracted these two off from this price to get the stripped chassis price. This stripped chassis price allows me to calculate the prices of variance quickly. So I suggest you figure out what the stripped chassis price is. Just take your price, subtract off your ammo, weapons, and jets. And then remember that, and then use that and add ammo, weapons, and jets on your variants to it. The Timber Wolf was made in 2945, but you can't use it for 3025 because it hasn't invaded yet. It's got a 5 8 move, um, 34 heat sink capability, which is basically doubles. So it's 34 total after the doubling. It's got a pretty much maxed out armor and of course naturally ferrofibrous and endo steel and XL engine, all the goodies that make it very costly but uh, also effective. Now I've set up uh, an algorithm for automatically organizing armor for both a brawler configuration and a DPS configuration and I noticed that the Timberwolf seems to match more of a DPS like configuration than a brawler configuration for its armor. If you want to learn more about the distribution, automatic distribution algorithm, go check out my awesome video that describes the, like the AI armor distribution uh, formula. Its main weapons are the ER large lasers, which it has two, and then it's also backed up by some ER medium lasers. Um, and the ER large lasers actually have longer range than its LRM20s. It's time for the detailed report um, multi means n on one where n can be anything from 2 to 12 opponents so it won half its n on ones you see this if you look at the top left corner where it says like mech strategy multi dot and win lose tie it lost only eight times against other clan mechs which includes its own variants and things like warhawks and direwolves and things like that you see that in the top right black and white text paragraph. Now check out the text in the bottom left corner where it says mech strategy, large mech, um, the win-lose tie fraction. Basically it only lost 11 times against um, the largest assault mechs in the inner sphere. There were also a few scattered ties against small quick things that could run away. In other words, it almost never loses. 
I've also attempted to calculate its battle value, so I got the offensive um, battle value as 1711 and its defensive is 1086 for roughly 2797 according to my calculation though the official is 60 points off there's one important detail that's also missing on the battle value uh, typical inner sphere pilots are four five but um clan pilots are supposed to start off at three four so this battle value is not adjusted for the fact that the pilot is actually 3-4. So this mech should actually cost more than this battle value. Now let's start taking a look at the uh, primary variants. That is the A, B, C, D. And also we will take a look at the, the Aiden Pride version. Which is sort of funny because he mostly only piloted summoners and was only stuck in a timber wolf for one battle in, at Tukayid. and this is the uh, timber wolf a um, you can also see that the stripped cost matches that of the timber wolf which means i believe that the cost calculations are correct so in other words timber wolf a costs two three six three zero one nine four c bills its main feature are er ppcs and uh, pulse lasers basically less missiles timberwolf b costs two three three two one five nine two c bills the main weapon is a clan gauss rifle and also a large pulse laser and timberwolf c costs two four three zero two zero three zero c bills it's got er large lasers but it also has an ultra auto cannon 5 and L some lrm 15s and an ams to block incoming fire and timberwolf d costs two three seven seven six eight six six c bills it goes extreme energy with ER PPCs for long range and then vast numbers of SRM4s for close range. So the Timberwolf Pride configuration costs 2458799 Z bills. It has dual LRM20s and ER large lasers for long range, then it switches to ER medium lasers and one ER small laser as you get closer. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it also has jump jets because Aiden was trying to replicate the jumping capability of the summoner in his desperate attempt to compensate for the fact that he was forced to pilot a Timberwolf. Now let's check out how these different variants do in actual battle. You can compare these numbers to any of the other sims that have 728 trials as their total trials number, as these were calculated at the same time which means, for example, you can compare these numbers directly to the Awesome and the Commando and the Warriors. In The Sims, the Prime configuration wins 78%, and the D wins 81%, which is phenomenal. All of their win rates are roughly comparable, though the C loses a little less. Um, D ties a little less. Perhaps it's related to their distribution of close versus far um, and what they tend to do. But if you want to be competitive and pay attention to the efficiencies, you'll see that the B is a little better for battle value efficiency. Whereas for tonnage, they're all pretty much the same. Maybe the D is the best for ton. And they all have pretty low um, C bill efficiencies because that's just how the clan tech is. I've also noticed that um, I believe that clans get kind of shafted in battle value. It seems like there's a, like a, three to four ratio of 
combat effectiveness for clan mechs in battle value versus uh, inner sphere mechs in battle value just because of the conspiracy of having almost everything be endo endo ferro fibrous etc etc xl engines on the clan tech um and somehow it seems like uh, if you are playing equal battle value of clan versus inner sphere, you will ha you may be at a slight disadvantage unless the opponent allows you to take an extra twenty five to thirty percent premium for battle value to try to compensate for the disadvantage that clan gets in equal battle value. So that's the timber wolf. The end story is the timber wolf is nearly unbeatable even on multiple on one scenarios with inner sphere mechs, except for a few random lucky or unlucky, depending on whose side you are, um, losses to some of the larger inner sphere mechs like Atlases and things like that and Highlanders, because Starly mechs were in there too, so it was going up against King Crabs and other lost tech mechs. So every once in a while we'd lose to one of those, sometimes by accident. Um, but otherwise, it is um, effectively unbeatable.